A great enhancement that we can offer, especially while a uh, peel is, is processing or if you are doing the switch treatment that you need to have 20 to 30 minutes of processing time or just an enhancement on its own for a hydrofacial or a dermaplane service is a lip treatment. Everyone is always wanting to have that really nice, healthy, plumped pout. Yes. So one of the ways that we can do that is utilizing some mechanical exfoliation, some really hydrating oils, and also adding in some exfoliation from a chemical um, exfoliation. So the first step to our lip enhancement is of course to infuse the lips at the same time that we're technically cleansing them a bit. So we don't want to um, do any sort of a cleanser that might get into, into the mouth. So we're utilizing our licorice and bearberry brightening mist. And this not only is going to add those nice brightening benefits to the lip tissue, but it's also going to remove any um, excess dirt or debris from the lip tissue with the four x four. Sometimes people have residue from makeup, lip balms, um, gel, lip jellies, anything of that nature. So this is a really good first step just to kind of make sure the surface is completely clean. Now, one of the products that we're always talking about for hydration in general is the Hydrolox because it can be utilized in any of your at-home creams, your vitamin A products, any of our lotions to boost the hydration of those products. You can add one to two drops of the Hydrolox and now it's kind of a two-in-one product. But we also love it because the preservative system of this particular product is just the cinnamon and the curry leaf oil. So this is a great lip product because of course, if any gets in your mouth and you ingest any, it's a very organic uh, like oil, but it also is going to really get maximum cell saturation with all of these oils, really giving it that nice hydrated plumped look, especially from the cinnamon and the curry. It's a little bit of a stimulating extract. So it's going to give you that nice stimulating, more plumped look. So Denise is just doing a thin application of the Hydrolox, and then we're actually going to go in and do a little bit of mechanical exfoliation. So the lips are a little bit different as far as the type of skin that we're dealing with. So your lips are going to be what we refer to as in a perikeratotic state or it's in perikeratosis at all times. It's when those immature cells are at the surface. We don't want that overall on the face, but we do see that occasionally with the lips. We're not occasionally all the time with the <laughs> lips. And that's why the texture of the lips is so much different than the rest of the face. So keeping that in mind, we need to treat the skin a little bit different. So we're gonna saturate the skin with the oil and then we're going to actually go in and do a little bit of a mechanical exfoliation you can do this with either a disposable mascara wand or you can use a four x four. When you're using the four x four or with a mascara wand, you wanna make sure that you're, you're not um, being too aggressive. So you wanna make Absolutely. sure that you have your brace points and that you're just doing a gentle exfoliation. Always brace the lips here. And then I like to take it from the center and then pull it out um, to the outer lip line and then do the bottom lip and then add the top lip and then you'll switch sides. This will actually help to take any excess dead skin on the surface, flake it off, and then giving us um, a more softer looking luscious lip at the end. Do you go around the lip line a little bit more aggressively or do you use standard pressure throughout the whole lip treatment? Just standard pressure for me throughout the whole lip treatment. And then always too, it's really important to read your client's body language. So if you notice that they're having a little bit of discomfort, if they're kind of wiggling or pulling away from you, then that also is an indicator to adjust your pressure. and keep that skin taut. If you notice, I went over both lips at once and just make sure that you have those brace points so we're not aggressively pulling the skin. Once you've gone through with the Hydrolox, then we wanna do just a little bit of a chemical exfoliation. Again, we would never use a chemical peel on the lips because of the perikeratotic state, but we can use things like a um, Australian Superberry antioxidant mask that has the lactic and mandelic, but it's in more of that mask base, so we can make sure that it's not going to travel. We're gonna make sure that it's not gonna be over exfoliating. We never wanna have any uh, peeling or anything that can create physical peeling 
on the lip tissue. This is really something that's designed to just give that little extra benefit of exfoliation just to that uh, lip area. Absolutely. So I actually prefer a um, brush application. It helps to control the amount of product that you are applying. And then I like to go on the lip and just a little bit outside the vermilion line to get like a full and complete exfoliation to this area. So while this is um, processing, let's talk a little bit about worst case scenario, right? Contraindications, especially working around the lip area. Worst case scenario, they, they sneeze, they open their mouth, they in ingest the Australian Superberry mask. It's not gonna taste the way it smells, number one. True. Um, but number two, nothing is going to, to happen. Clearly, they will spit anything out that right. they can, but you know they're, they won't be exfoliating their tongue, their, their gums, or anything like that. It'll be completely safe. So that's one of the main reasons we love to use this mask for lip exfoliation because it is so gentle. Absolutely. Also, it has a really wonderful aroma to it, so that might lead them to want to eat it, but if they give it a try, it's not gonna work well. Yeah, it's only something you have to try <laughs> Right. <once. laughs> so we'll let this process for a couple of minutes, and then following the exfoliation, of course, we wanna maximize hydration. So after this step is on the skin for, or the lips for anywhere between five to seven minutes, um, we will remove and then we'll go in with the Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask. So as this is processing, what are some of the other enhancements that you can offer while this is uh, processing? I think one favorite of my clients that they absolutely love is getting a scalp massage. So scalp massage is always an amazing enhancement for anything when you're waiting for it to time out. It's um, always welcome, but be sure to ask your client before you go into their hair um, and then make sure after you're done with your scalp massage, either do a glove change or use um, an antibacterial hand gel in order to make sure that you have clean hands when you're re-approaching um, the face. Mm -hmm. Great, great tip. And then when you're doing your scalp massage, are you using the Hydrolox or the Vitamin Veil? What's your preferred method? I think it's important to ask your client. I actually love to utilize Gua Sha stones for scalp massage, um, but then also sometimes dry depending on your technique. If your client is okay with leaving with an oil in their hair, go for it. Go with the Hydrolox, I highly recommend it, but otherwise start dry and then ask your clients if they would like to have that upon leaving. Mm -hmm. Yes, because if they have an event that they're going to yes. later and no one wants to leave with really greasy hair. So when you remove the Australian Super Bay mask from the lip tissue, are you using a towel or four by fours? What's your preferred technique? Um, I think for this, I'll actually do a four by four because a towel is gonna cover the entire face. Um, so a four by four will make it a little bit quicker to remove the Australian Superberry mask from the lip area. Now, as far as removal, four by fours are amazing, um, but also if you have um, sponges in your space um, or mittens, really great towel-based mittens, those are fantastic as well. And then still brace your client's um, lip area when you're removing, and I like to use soft padding strokes when I'm taking this off of the skin. Bracing gives the client a sense of security with you, so bracing is a really important part of any type of approach when you're working with your client's skin. Mm -hmm. Especially around the mouth or the eye area, I feel like it just relays confidence that you know exactly what you're doing, you brace first, then you do your movement, you move, you brace, you do your movement, and I think it just makes them feel much more at ease that you know what you're doing, you've done this before, you Absolutely. know exactly where to hold. They know what to expect. Now, I did apply some mask outside of the lip area, um, outside the vermilion line here. That's our natural lip line area. So just make sure that you get that entire area um, cleansed. Now that we are properly and gently exfoliated, let's talk about the different hydration options that we have for really getting maximum hydration, also getting that nice plumping effect. So one of our favorite hydrating tools in the Circadia toolbox for professional use is the Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask. So this is going to be applied very similar to the Australian Superberry, where you're gonna do just a light layer, and of course going a little bit outside of the lip line as well, just making sure that we're giving that optimal hydration. Her lips are gonna feel so soft and buttery. She's gonna ask for this every time. <laughs> We get asked all the time about these different enhancement options, but the most common question we get is, 
what do you charge? So um, it always, I mean, we always have to put the disclaimer out that it varies from area to area, from technician to technician, and also what your customers are um, comfortable and used to paying as far as price is concerned. But just to um, give us some insight into you and your location, how much would you charge for a lip upgrade? So for me, a lip upgrade would probably be anywhere from 10 to $12 for the upgrade. Um, I know a lot of estheticians are doing more of like an all-inclusive pricing um, in the market right now where everything is included. So enhancements would be included along with the treatment that they're receiving. But also do some market research where you live, see what other people are offering as far as pricing. And then don't forget to kind of go through your cost per service as well. What is it actually costing you to do the service? And then what is going to be the amount that you will earn above that cost per service? The way the Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask is formulated is we do have that really nice diffuporin peptide that's really designed to create intrinsic hydration or cellular hydration. But at the same time, we formulate it formulated it with all these different amazing emollients that are designed to just melt into the skin. So with the previous removal, we used a four x four, but for the Marshmallow Whip Hydrating Mask, we wanna use a warm towel or a hot towel to really make sure that we're drenching that lip tissue with maximum hydration. So allowing those emollients to melt into the skin during the removal process is a great way to maximize your hydration. Another enhancement option that you can do is once the marshmallow whip mask has been applied to the lip tissue, you can actually just lay a damp towel or a warm damp towel over top and really allow for that to, to penetrate in as much as possible. So either method is appropriate for this step of the treatment. And then of course, with the finishing application for the lip enhancement, you want to apply the Hydrolox and this is what the client will leave with on their lips. It has a really nice, um, shiny, uh, finished look to it, but again, it's gonna add some of that extra plumping agent with the cinnamon and the curry leaf extract. But you can already tell that there is just amazing hydration. You can see a really nice plumpness to her lips, but also some great exfoliation. People often ask us if we have a lip product, this would be it. Mm -hmm. So this is what you reach for when you're wanting to add um, those properties to your client's lips.